enchantée. What's happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching Game We are in the middle of an epic road trip with the Euro Tunnel. So far we've driven all the way from Wales in our hometown across to France on the little Euro Tunnel. We ate all the food we could find in Ghent and now we've driven to the most incredible city called Dinant. Dinant. Oh Craig, I feel a bad hair day coming on. Morning, we're off to Dinant. Morning! <laughs> Today we're heading back to the car. We got another little road trip. Only an hour and a half. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here she goes. What have you got planned? Do you like my jacket? <laughs> Middle of summer. Bring the bomber jacket. My sister bought me for my birthday. Don't look like Biggie. Don't look like two pack. You know when someone says don't overpack? Uh -huh. Bring one bag. Why'd well you, I've only brought one you bring coat three? though. Why'd you bring three? One coat. This is the only coat you need, it's reversible. You are ridiculous. What do you mean overpack? She I is never overpack. Captain overpack. Trust me, brother. She's, I will do you know wear what she did? Everything. She snuck another bag in the car without me knowing. I she's just like, oh, it. Craig, Craig, it's for accessories, if Craig. If you didn't notice it, then that's it, your problem. Unbelievable. <laughs> so today we're driving to Denant. So we're going to no, check out. You're saying it wrong. You're trying to be all French now. No, no, no. It's, it is the Denant. Denant. Whatever it's called, that's where we're going. It's gonna be great, isn't it? Yeah, a bit, I'm just so excited for this trip. A massive thanks to Eurotunnel for making this happen because Dinant has got like, oh, it's just got like a castle on the side of a lake and it just looks incredible. And we've got the best weather and I'm in a fabulous mood today. So yeah, I'm excited. Craig, will you carry my bag, please? It's 25 past 10 and it's time for breakfast. I want that one. That is an intricate picky though, isn't it? For 55 euros though. Have you ever seen a cooler backdrop in the street? That is amazing. This is my kind of city. I'm just looking at the architecture, Amy's looking at the patisserie. Oh my goodness. Right, come on then. What are you getting then? I don't know. <laughs> Merci. So you know that a town is really, really cool. When you get like a little biscuit thing, she tells you how to eat it and gives you like the cultural background of how it's made and, and the patisserie background. This is, this is beautiful. You're Craig. loving the knot, aren't you? It's so lovely to have, you know, people loving their, their background and their history and stuff. You go down Greg's, they're like, what do you want babes? And you're like, <laughs> oh, just have a, you know, a cheese sandwich please <laughs> oh i love to get all engrossed in the culture craig you mean the biscuits in the biscuits so she said that it's made out of flour and sugar because back in the day when the people of dinant didn't have anything to eat that this is all they had she said it's really hard and to not bite it with your teeth she said break it <laughs> she said to break it oh my god <laughs> and let it like melt in your mouth. Kind of tastes like a sweet bread. Kind of like gone off though. No, no offense, mate. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. We've just arrived at the marvelous, magical caves of the Nantes. Apparently, there's like quite a few kilometers worth of massive rooms underground. Rooms? Yeah, like cave rooms. What? Like a living room, like a pool room and You'd stuff. You'd make it into a hotel, wouldn't you, if you owned it? Definitely. Who owns it? Kevin Denant. Brilliant. Yeah. We should get Kev on the blower. It's supposed to be quite cold down there. So did you come prepared it or what? Yeah, I've got a jacket. We're going to know all about caves when we're done, then. Yes! You got your little tickets, babes? You have to buy them in the shop at the top and then the guy takes you down. Because you spent so long in Asia, because it's another language automatically, I nearly went, merci beaucoup. <laughs> <laughs> No. I dropped mayonnaise on it last week. Mm -hmm. 
you freezing? I'm pretty cold. You got the little goosebumps. And also the tour is in French because we turned the plate and we didn't get to tell the guy that we were speaking English. We need to go and tell him quick because I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> So Amy's just shouted out after the guy finished in French. She was like, excuse me, sir, can you translate into English, please? <laughs> so now we know what's happening, which is good. Oh well, yeah, otherwise we'd have done this whole tour and I wouldn't have got the facts that I wanted, Craig. <laughs> Looks really cool though, like melted candles on the side, but it's all rock, isn't it? It's all rock, son. Oh, rock like this. Looks like marshmallow, though, for most of it. We were taking photos, then we lost the tour guide. <laughs> we don't know where he's gone. It's so cool though. One of the coolest caves I've ever seen, I think. So, like... Who paved this then? Because that looks like someone's drive. Obviously they haven't just taken it off the wall, like Terry's come in and laid the path. So who did, who did that then? Kevin Denant. <laughs> Whoa. This is one of the most amazing caves You're I've ever seen. You're loving it, you? It's just incredible. This is like, they found it like this. And it's just natural, it obviously, really apart from cool, the driveway right? that they built. But like for a wedding, for like someone who's getting, not us, like, <laughs> we don't even like you. Always for a wedding. But a here, wedding you know? would be beautiful down here. Imagine the pictures you could get. It'd be a bit cold though, wouldn't it? Pictures like this. Um, did you just say walk? Have a good time in the cave. If you've got bad knees, at the end there's quite a few stairs, so I wouldn't recommend it. Does someone just say self-driven boat with wine? <laughs> day here in Dinant. It's been so cool, hasn't it? Really, really, really cool. It's been a massive day though. We've driven all the way from Ghent. Seeing those caves blew my chops off, that did. Did, didn't it? They were so, really yeah. cool. And it was nice and cool in there as well. I yeah. loved it. It's like a fridge. And then the boat ride was just top draw McGraw. So now we're back. We've got a little Airbnb outside of the city with a little view of the Belgian countryside. Love it, love it. So cute. So we'll see you tomorrow. Morning. Morning! Welcome back to the city. Today is our next challenge. Fisty cuffs, Craig. Right, this is me. This is like it's a it's a beautiful Sunday morning and I am going to win. First of all, we need to introduce you to somebody very special. Somebody who's really influenced this challenge of ours today. First things first, do you like my trainers? <laughs> Bofters. This is Adolf Sax. I invented the saxophone. So as an ode to Adolf the legend, first of all, how do you even invent a saxophone? Why do you call it a saxophone though? It's, you, you know, I'm speaking to it's not a phone. Ask him. No, he scares me. <laughs> okay, so the challenge for today is we're going to be starting on the Charles de Gaulle Bridge. We're gonna go our separate ways. We need to find a gift to take home that's under five euros that has a saxophone on it. it can be anything you want, a magnet, a book, a biscuit, anything. Once we've got our saxophone gift, we have to cross back over the bridge, go up the cable cars to the top of the Citadel and take a photo with our gift with the cathedral in the back. Okay, so there are some rules. Every saxophone that is bigger than your torso if you touch it, you get 10 points extra. 
The first person to get to the top gets 40 points. That's right. So when we take our selfies, it will be based on who took the selfie at what time and the soonest time gets 40 extra points. But there's a twist. What's the twist? Amy lost the challenge yesterday. Oh, so she's oh. got a forfeit. I knew this was coming. And your forfeit is before you go in any doorway, right. you have to do a full turn, 360 degrees. Okay. And you have to ask at least one person in French if they like your shoes. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't speak French though. Don't worry about that, I got you covered. But what happens if they, if they start talking to me, to me in French? Like Just say, I... merci beaucoup, au revoir. <laughs> and then run. This is, what, this is how you say it, you ready? Aimez-vous mes chaussures? Go on then. Et mes vieux et chaussures. <laughs> Let the challenge begin. <laughs> One more rule. You're not allowed to run. Power walking only. Okay, we have to flip a coin to see who starts on which side of the road because we'll be going like this. There'll be no cheating. And Craig. that's the end point there. It'll work there. Are you ready for this? Okay, heads is right and tails is uh, left. You okay. have to call one before you say it. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll go, I'll go heads. It's tails, All right. Sammy. So I get the shoes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start this side. On your marks, get set, go. Here we go, and we're off. Back to front. Stop running! You said you're cheap. <laughs> I think I'm quicker than him, you know? He's not going off at all. I'm wondering if she's going to cross the road and do the other saxophones. I also know there's some hidden saxophones. I don't think she knows about it. Three. I just touched that one, FYI. Yeah, she's got that way. More points than me. I'm crossing the road, baby. Then... <sighs> right, saxophone. Saxophone. Doing the whole bridge, mate. Racking up the points. Got this in the bag. I don't even need to buy a gift. Okay, I think I found what I'm going to get, and it's like five euros. Okay, 360. Okay, it's not looking good, but at the start we agreed that we couldn't go in one shop because it was too easy, but I'm going to be sneaky and go to the shop. So this is it here. They've definitely got a saxophone keyring for me, I bet you. I just hope she didn't catch me. Could I get one of the, uh, the fish? Yeah. I think I've got a winner. Okay, we're going up. I think she's going to be really annoyed that I cheated, but <laughs> I can't believe she didn't cross the bridge. I thought she was smarter than that. I bet you she's at the top because she was at running. Here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> Gift. So, um, if I take a selfie real quick. Sorry, Craig, but you doing the next little bit. Oh, sugar. You haven't asked someone if they like my shoes. I'm gonna have to ask a random stranger now, and that's really, really weird. Honestly, who works here? Because I have no idea where I'm going right now. Okay, I'm legit gonna ask the janitor whether he likes my shoes or not. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, Ames vous mes chasseurs. Yeah! Cheers, fam! <laughs> oh my god, I don't think he knew what he was saying at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a selfie with my fish from this spot here. Take it out with a wrapping paper. I am sweating. I wanted to win something so much in my life. Done. Done, Zoe, mate. I hope that will suffice. 
Okay, this is the spot. I just need to unwrap my shot glass. There's so much sellotape on it. Come on. Yes. Amy's not here, so I'm hoping that I won, hands down. Yes. He's taking his selfie, which means I think I've won. Cheers, Craig. Oh, no. I've spotted her. You little sneak. Have you been here the whole time? Loser! It goes off points, remember? Oh, oh. Yeah, and I saw you run in, you little sneak. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to, I forgot. Right then, let's add up some points, shall we? Okay. First of all, how many saxophones did you touch? Six. Six? Do you know how many I touched? Ah, uh, how many did you touch? Twelve. Didn't cross the road, did you? I can't believe you didn't cross the road, you matter. I just wanted to get to the top. <laughs> You're such a sneak, Craig. Well, I thought that was pretty obvious. I was well, like, I'm she's not, not crossing. Well, I'm not because obviously I haven't won now, have I? And I've sweated, blood, sweat and tears went into this challenge. All right. <laughs> What's your gift? Demand. What's your gift? What you got? A fish. Where's the saxophone on that? Oh my god. Oh no, I completely forgot. Absolute waste oh, of space. Great. Like, I took too well under pressure. I was literally flapping. To sit down at one point, I was going to faint. So that's no points for the for the prize. Um, I can't the... believe what I've done. There's a saxophone on that, so I win that as well. It's got to be a gift for the saxophone on it. Amy buys a fish. <laughs> How much was it? Oh, euros 50. How much was yours? Probably went over budget, did you? It was 3 95 but I got a confession to make. What? Remember we had an agreement on that shop that we couldn't go in? Disqualified. That means you're disqualified though. No. Because I thought about going in there and I was like, no, no, because it's banned from this challenge because obviously it's got loads of trinkets and stuff. That's straight up disqualification. I believe I've won the <laughs> challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't oh, win a saxophone challenge with a fish. Craig, I was so gutted, but no, that's me, I've won. Do you agree though? Because that's not fair. Well, it kind of was cheating. He agrees. So, oh. I'll give this round to you then, kid. <laughs> I can't believe it. And I did the shooting. I asked the janitor. He wasn't, he wasn't happy. I don't think he liked him. <laughs> oh, what a great day to be had by all, Craig. Well done, babes. Congratulations. Oh, thanks very much. Should we get an ice cream to congratulate ourselves? Why not? Yeah. We're going into the chapel. What is it called? <laughs> Cathedral. No, what is it? It's the Notre Dame Cathedral. Now, are you ready for this, Craig? Are you on your best behaviour? I think so. I've been told it's pretty spectacular. Is it? And they have the biggest stained glass window in the whole of Europe. Shut up. On my life. <laughs> and here's one I made earlier. That is it for Dunon. Dunon. What a place, man. I've had a wonderful time, Craig. Thanks for asking. Congratulations <laughs> on winning your challenge. Oh, thanks very much. I'm like chuffed to beans with that for sure. But I didn't even know that like Dunon existed. And this is a beautiful little gem right in the center of Europe. So if you're traveling about, guys, I would definitely say to come here. Learn a lot of stuff, Craig, haven't we? What have you learned? That, I have that learned fish play the that. saxophone. I have learned that fish are not saxophones <laughs> and that uh, Albert Sax invented the saxophone. Adolf. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't learn anything. So you've learned nothing basically, <laughs> that's, the, that's what's happened. I just had a great time, I just had a good time real quick. <laughs> so the next stop on our little road trip, a massive road trip, is Cologne, Cologne in yeah. Germany. So we're moving countries, Belgium has been so cool, it's been great to see this place. I didn't know what to expect. No, neither did I. I didn't expect this though. Make sure you come back for the next video to do a forfeit on the next video, aren't Oh I? yeah, that's right. Oh, I'll get my thinking cap on, it's going to be juicy. <laughs> so if you're brand spanking new and you've just found that channel, thanks for watching and make sure you press subscribe. And if you're not new guys, then we love you so, so much. Thanks so much for sticking with us and watching what we get up to. We really feel like your family now. 
No one's remember. Rule your own world. One, two, three, bye. bye. On the next King in It episode. Look your little Hawaiian shirt. You proper dressed for church, didn't you? So the Germans take their spas very seriously, Craig, and so do we. Okay, rock, paper, scissors, championships. Three, two, one.